Hello guys, recently on Laravel Daily we released a free tutorial about how to switch between multiple roles in Laravel project based on Laravel Breeze example and I decided to shoot a video version of that tutorial just for bigger exposure. I will link that original article in the description below. And also I will ask you a question, maybe you have a better solution and advice how to perform one thing better at the end of this video. But basically this is what we're getting here. Laravel Breeze with different menu items or menu top bars for different roles. And this is imaginary example. So we have doctors and patients and every user may have multiple roles, may not, maybe only patient or only doctor, but there will be always one current active role. So currently I'm logged in as a doctor, actually I'm logged in as a user in general, user of the system, but I have a few roles and one of them is main. So now I see the doctor menu and when I switch to patient, the menu would change. The actual menu doesn't work. Those are artificial examples, but you get the idea for patient, there will be different menu items. So how to accomplish that? Here's the code of the blade. First, we show the current role, which we get from user current role name, the relationship. So in user, we have current role. In addition to the default roles powered by Spati Laravel permission in that case, or you can have many to many relationship between role and user without the package. But basically we have roles. And this is where we actually check those roles. Those roles relationship is automatically eager loaded with the package of Spati permission. So we don't have n plus one query problem here called the count and the where because both of those are collections already, not database queries. So if that count is bigger than one, then we're doing for each of other roles, which is not the current role and just have a link to switch. That switch controller looks like this just in case the check whether we have that role. This is pretty important actually. And then we update the field of current role and redirect to dashboard or wherever you want. Then based on current role, the navigation would change and possibly you may have more checks based on current role or current role ID field. Basically that's it, nothing really fancy here. In the article you may see a bit more visual things like for example database table structure which comes again from Spati Laravel permission package and also the migration and role code for that but it's basically the same thing. Also the routes which I haven't shown. And here comes the interesting part and the question to you guys. How can we optimize that in terms of the amount of queries to the database? So I've installed Laravel debug bar and let's zoom that in. And on any page, we actually have three queries. This query is by default from Laravel, get the current user. Then this comes from Spati permission, get all the roles by the user. And this comes from our code, from the current role relationship. And even if we eager load that or provide with in the eloquent model, it will still be additional query to the database. And let's brainstorm the options together in the comments. What would you have done in this situation? First, you could save the name of the current role in the database of users table. Then you wouldn't need to have additional query to this. So logged in as role name, which would be immediately in the users table. But then you would need to change that every time the role changes, the role name also changes. And then you would need to have that in sync with roles in the table of roles of Spati roles. Of course, it's easy to manage and it may be a good idea to have that extra work to avoid one more query to the database. But maybe you have more other ideas, maybe some caching, but does caching really work? In this case, because for security reasons, it does make sense to check the roles and permissions every time on every page without caching. Your turn guys, let's discuss in the comments. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.